Welcome to the JCU Singapore Placement Test. Before we go on to the test itself, let me give you some background information. The test should take approximately 90 minutes to complete and you can complete the test in your own home. The most important thing is, is that you are on your own when you take the test. That means you cannot contact anybody else during the test, either face to face or by phone or computer. During the test, you are not allowed to use any electronic devices, whether dictionaries, phones, or anything else. Also, you are not allowed to have any papers with you during the test, except for the guide, which you'll have been emailed, and also your ID. You must have your government-issued ID or passport with you for ID verification purposes. Now, let's move on to the test itself. When you are ready to take the test, close all the programs except for Internet Explorer if you are a PC user or Safari if you're a Mac user. When you've closed the programs, go to nopassword.remoteproctor.com. You'll be sent to a system check page. Click system check and then the computer will check your system. You may be asked to allow your microphone and camera to be used. Please just click allow. The computer will now check your system. Once the test is complete, you should see three green ticks on your screen. Click on the Windows icon and the software will download to your computer. Click Run to start the software. You'll now be taken to the login page for Remote Proctor. First of all, select your organisation which is James Cook University. Then select your teacher, which is admission test, and then your exam, which is Oxford online placement test. You'll now be asked to enter your name, your email, and your phone number. Once you've entered your details, please press Next. Next, you will see a warning about the examination rules. Please click Next, which will take you on to the next stage. If you have forgotten to close programs properly, you will now see a warning telling you to close all the remaining programs. Click Continue and then the software will try to close your programs for you. Once you have done that, you'll go on to the ID process. Click Allow to allow the software to access your camera, and then Hold your ID up to the camera. Once the ID is in front of the camera, press Take Photo. You'll be asked to confirm that the ID is clear, so check that it is clear, and then when you've done so, click Confirm ID Photo. The photo will now be uploaded to the computer. Now you'll be asked to scan the room with your camera to make sure that there are no unauthorised materials in the exam room. So pick up your camera or your laptop and scan round the room. Don't forget to scan behind you as well as in front 
you should do a 360 degree scan. And at the end, please don't forget to scan underneath the table. Once you've done the scan, put your camera or laptop back and click Stop Scan. You'll now be asked to take your user photo. Click Take User Photo and you'll see a countdown and then you'll get the photo. If the photo is clear, click that it's clear and then the photo will be uploaded. The authentication is now finished and you'll move on to the exam website. On the exam website, you'll need to enter the username, password and organisation ID that is written on your test user guide. Once you have entered this correctly, click Login and you'll move on to the test. Before you take the test, you'll be asked to enter your name and email address again. Once you've entered these details, click Save and you'll move on to the next screen. Now select Oxford Online Placement Test and you'll go on to the test itself. First of all, before you take the test, you'll be asked to select your starting level. Most students should start at mid-level, but if your English is very weak, please select lower level. First of all, you will move on to use of English. Here there are approximately 30 questions and you should select the answers from the drop-down box and then once you've selected what you think is the right answer, click Next. Once you've finished the Use of English section, you'll go on to the Listening section. Here you'll listen to a series of recordings and you have to select the correct answer. Most of my friends For in each recording, you will see a Play button Maria, at the top the of the secretary? screen. Is she Spanish? Press the play she button Spanish, and listen to the recording fact, and then select what you think is really? the correct answer. I didn't know. Wow, that's a very international office. The listening section has approximately 15 questions and after that, that is the end of the test. And you will see the following screen. All you need to do now is click close this window and your results will be sent to JCU Singapore. You'll receive your results back within a couple of days. That is now the end of the placement test. So please close the browser window and click End Exam.